The stage is set and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Brazil versus Argentina. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Neymar. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. And so the match is underway. Fabinho Lucas Paqueta and with that the attack fizzles out so this is it for Argentina World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986 runners-up in 1930 1990 and eight years ago in 2014 are they going to do it here in 2022 what a big night for them well, it's a massive night, and when you talk about World Cup finals, I always go back to 1978 as a great occasion. Ticker tape in Buenos Aires, the kickoff delayed because one of the Netherlands players had a cast on his arm. Mario Kempes, brilliant player. Ozzy Ardiles, that was Argentina at their best. Can they reproduce that sort of form here today? I think they can. Real chance, spectacular save, top-class goalkeeping. Di Maria and it's in we've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final one to Sabre well here it is again and the way they've been playing that was always going to happen they've certainly been piling on the pressure here One nil then. Fabinho. Here's Rafinha. Takes aim. 
Well, they're doing their best to get on level terms here. Well, it's a decent effort, but they're still trailing. They need something special here. Martinez. Good tackle. Alexandro is with Vinicius Junior. Rafinha. Must score! Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed, and the dream remains very much alive. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Di Maria back with Martinez and moving the ball nicely can he put them in front and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time Danilo Neymar Rafinha Danilo Options in the centre And that will be a corner Elects to go short Clear foul play And as a result, a free kick forthcoming And going short with it. Alexandro. Opportunity. And the keeper more than equal to the task. Short corner taken. Paqueta. Being egged on by the crowd. And the body in the way. Doesn't want to lose his cool here. And the emphasis is on creativity. Paredes. Intercepting it intelligently. Neymar is with Vinicius Junior using his physique to shield the ball and then wait for others to get there Vinicius Junior and with that the attack fizzles out Paredes Rodrigo de Paul And scope for them to produce something exciting. Martinez! Oh, it's a goal! And that gives them the advantage. Will they be able to keep it? Well, let's see this again. What a pass this is from Messi. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So they get the ball moving again. Can Brazil come up with an answer here? 22. 
And a strong tackle. Lucas Paqueta. Rafinha. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Well, a short corner here. Vinicius. And a really good diving stop. But he's gone short with it. Paqueta. Happy to take on the shot. Well, tremendous block. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Paqueta. Terrific piece of anticipation. Di Maria. Martinez. Messi. Martinez. Oh, he's done it. But hang on, offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here, but the assistant, I think, got it absolutely right. The first half here comes to an end. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Di Maria. Can he finish? And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they? Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Goal. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Argentina, number 10, Lionel Messi. Well, the fans really want him to shoot, making sure it didn't get past him. Martinez. Di Maria now. Rodrigo de Paul. And Argentina giving it away. And Brazil in a position of menace. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Well, neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. Papu Gomez is with Paredes. 
Trying to really get at the opposition here. Gomez. Nicely timed tackle. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Rafinha. Fabinho. Marquinhos. Danilo. Making a bit of headway. Danilo. Can he finish here? Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Lionel Messi. Martinez. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. Now, options are plenty. Being egged on by the crowd. Superbly read and executed. Gomez. Messi. Now well Molina. Martinez! And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Current scoreline 4 2. Martina, number 22, Lotaro Martinez. Rafinha. Chance to play it in. Could reduce the deficit. And he does. There was hope for them despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, just look at this again. He's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going. Of course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. Brazil still trailing here, but this game very much alive as a contest once more. Paredes. Now, let's see what they can do here. Gomez! Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Paqueta. It's with Vinicius Junior. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, that break looked so uh, promising, but nothing coming from it. Paredes. De Paul. Options in the centre. Surely! Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Fabinho onto Paqueta are getting it forward but they need an equaliser tremendous block and Neymar how about the cross Casemiro oh could be oh I can't believe it twists and turns in the closing stages and it's anyone's guess who's going to lift the trophy incredible Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal.
Well, you don't get too many score lines like this one. 4-4. Four, four. Level pegging, but can they change that? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Vinicius Junior. Neymar. And just five minutes remaining. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Di Maria. He might yet finish. Oh, blocked it! Anthony. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. He's in with a chance. couldn't get it through so two minutes of stoppage time to be added on Martinez a sloppy pass and a goal at this stage might well turn out and he's kept it out fully stretched somehow reaching it they will now make use of their substitutes bench Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, the danger is still there. Neymar. Silva. Here's Fabinho. No way through. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes. But this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Well, the ball rolling again here, the first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. In behind for him to chase. Danilo. Here's Marquinhos. Oh, getting the ball forward. Vinicius Jr. Could be! Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. And a short corner, let's see. And a goal kick will be next. Rodrigo de Paul. Messi. Here's Marcos Acuna. Martinez. Tremendous ball played through. And the attack carried promise, but petered out. Molina. Rodrigo de Paul. Di Maria. Marcos Acuna must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. The corner courtesy of Lionel Messi. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Brazil couldn't retain possession. Paredes. and he snuffed out the danger clears it away 
There will be one minute added on at the end. Lionel Messi. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. Well, on they go. Second period of extra time is underway. To be replaced by number 18, Gabriel Jesus. Substitution for the hosts. Martinez. Number 11, Angel Di Maria. Coming out of the pitch. Number 21, Vinicius Jr. On the back at that. Martinez, can he finish this? Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Gabriel Jesus is with Vinicius Junior. Jesus, it's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. But nothing comes of it, good defending it was. This might be ideal for the counter. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them and scope for them to produce something exciting. Now, options are plenty. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Danilo. Fabinho now. Fabinho. Top class defending. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. Martinez. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, a fantastic final, and it's going to end in the most nerve-shredding way possible with a penalty shootout. And this will test the mentality of any footballer. And the keeper denies them from the spot. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Well, the Panenka has duly fooled the goalkeeper. Low and accurate, that penalty. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. And that's how to take a penalty. Low and into the back of the net. And he scores! And he steps up to take the shot. And the keeper makes the all-important save. What a big moment. So lethal in front of goal. So much on the line with regard to this penalty. Job done from the spot. Well, this could be the one. Superb save. And the penalty converts it here. He had to score, and he does. Can he convert? 
And just like that, he's come up with the save. And now a heaven-sent opportunity to win the match. Oh, that's it! The final act in the drama. One team jubilant, the other distraught. Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Argentina, world champions! They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.